Did you know that you can use your Chromebook stylus for more than just taking notes or drawing? Let's take a look at some of the stylus tools available on the Chromebook. If you tap the pen icon toward the right corner of the shelf, you will see a pop-up menu of stylus tools. The tools are Capture Region, Capture Screen, Create Note, Laser Pointer, and Magnifying Glass. Let's explore each of these tools. Choosing Capture Region will turn the point where your stylus touches the screen into a crosshair, allowing you to lasso or outline a portion of the screen. The resulting capture can then be copied to the clipboard, or you can choose to annotate the image. Choosing Capture Screen from the stylus menu will result in a full screen capture that you can also annotate or copy to the clipboard as you did with the region capture. If you choose Create a Note, Google Keep will launch in a new tab. You can use any of the tools in Google Keep and the note will autosave and be available to you from within Keep. The next stylus tool is the laser pointer. Choosing this tool will produce a small red dot when the stylus tip is touched to the screen. Another great feature is the magnifying glass. Choose this stylus tool and the pen tip will allow you to zoom in on a particular portion of the screen. There are a few settings available from the gear icon in the stylus tools menu. By default, the stylus tools are available from the shelf. You could turn that off if you'd like. You can also choose an alternate note-taking app or open the Google Play Store to find additional stylus apps if you'd like. Finally, there is a help feature available in the stylus tools menu too. Clicking the question mark will open a link to a Google help page which outlines how to use the stylus tools. Additional resources on this topic and others are available from a database on the Educational Technology website. You can search by application title, text, or format, such as video, handout, or presentation. A direct link to this resource table is bit.ly forward slash eps resources. Please note that the URL is case sensitive. Maybe you're looking for something a little more than a handout or video. If so, also available from our EdTech website is a form for professional learning requests. The training could be for yourself, your PLC, or your building. To access the form, go to bit.ly forward slash EPS training. Again, please note that the URL is case sensitive.